You know, 50% of children in the U.S. take some form of food supplement, but dietary supplements, unlike medications, are not regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. So here to tell us how to make sure that your kids are safe is Sarah E. Rush. She's the pharmacy clinical manager at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Uh, so good to see you this morning, Sarah. Thanks for having me. Um, that's one thing as a parent who's given my kids vitamins their entire lives. Mm -hmm. I never thought about that before. So <laughs> what's the danger in giving your kids supplements? Well, you know, that it's funny. That's what everybody says. They're natural. They must be safe. It's got to be good. And the problem with dietary supplements is that it's basically an unregulated industry. It's, it's self-regulated in that the companies are required to report to the FDA, register with them, and to follow what's known as good manufacturing practices. But the problem is the FDA doesn't approve everything before it's put on the market. And they only react if there's something that's wrong with the product. So there's a lot of rogue companies out there, and it's very much a buyer beware situation. You have to be very concerned that that what's in the bottle might not really be what's on the label. And as a consumer, you really don't know. You kind of look and say, gee, well, I'm reading the back of the thing, and this has 80%, this is 80%. Okay, guess it must be good, right? Well, you're absolutely correct. And <clears throat> it's really important for the consumer to know how to be able to identify a quality product. There's a lot of concern about, you know, do these supplements actually work? But the, more importantly is, is what's in the bottle what's on the label? So the easiest way for the consumers to do that is to look for a third-party verification or a, a, another company that will come in and verify that what's uh, in the bottle is really what's on the label. And probably the best way to do that at the point of purchase is something called the United States Pharmacopeia Verification. Mm -hmm. So you can look for a seal on that bottle that will actually tell you that USP has looked at that product and verified that it is not only what it says it is in terms of quality but also in quantity. Um, USP is an institution that's been around for over 200 years and is also the, the same institution that uh, sets the standards for pharmaceuticals and food additives in the United States. It's funny, I've seen that, didn't know what it was, so I'm, I always love when I talk to people on this show and I get to learn something, it happens all the time. What are the most commonly used supplements and what should parents watch out for? Well, we have some of the most commonly used supplements here. Um, vitamin D is very big these days. We use a lot of sunscreen, so kids might not be getting all the vitamin D they need from, from natural sun. Um, another one is fish oil or omega-3s, which is good for growing brains and spinal cords. Melatonin is used a lot in children for children who have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. Um, we also have vitamin, uh, multivitamins and vitamin C. Vitamin C is thought to be an immune booster. And, and multivitamins for all those kids that are finicky eaters. Parents want to make sure they're getting the nutrition that they should be getting. And finally, probiotics are often used for kids with digestive disorders or to regulate their bowel regimens. Okay. So tell me, how you're with Children's Hospital in Philadelphia. How have you been in the forefront of kind of crafting the policy regarding these supplements for kids? Well, we're very concerned about the quality of the supplements that are out there. Um, and so our, what we've put together a policy at the hospital where we try to talk to all patients who come in with these products and let them know that there could be a potential problem with these products. And so we ask them to put them aside while they're being admitted because they're usually being admitted for an acute condition. And we mm -hmm. want to make sure that there's nothing in these products that could be causing a problem. Mm -hmm. Um, and we have parents that, that, that are actually quite grateful to understand this issue that the supplements could be of questionable quality. And so we really look at it as a mission to educate patients on this. Great education, great informative stuff. Is there a website where our viewers can go to read more? Absolutely. The United States Pharmacopeia, USP.org, has their own website that will also tell you um, what supplements are verified and where you can purchase those supplements. Okay. So it's a, it's a great resource. Okay. We'll leave it at that. Sarah uh, E. Rush with the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, thanks so much for coming in. And thanks for the knowledge. We appreciate this. Thanks for having me. Yeah, okay. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Okay.